Hey there, hi there, YouTubees. Okay, so today we are going to install the SSR preload caps for the Ninja 300. So these are preload caps, and these will allow you to dial in your suspension just a bit. Not a ton of travel, but these also look better in stock, and when you do your woodcraft clip-ons or driven clip-ons, whatever, you're going to want to replace your naked caps with these. And you get the choice of an anodized color here, which is kind of nice. All my accent colors are blue for this bike. The other thing you're going to need before you start is anti-seize lubricant. So also known as anti-seize compound. So this will basically go on your threads and prevent your threads from seizing, as the name implies. This is from uh, AutoZone, and I think it has like an applicator tip on this too, which is why I got this size. Also handy, as always, is your service manual for your 300. I have mine right there. And your instructions. Alright, so let's get underway. Okay, so here are more tools required for the installation. 10 millimeter wrench or T-handle. Okay, got that right here. Let's see. There's 10 millimeter. 27 millimeter wrench or socket. And we got that right here. Small head flat blade screwdriver. Well, oh, here we go. Anti seize compound right there. Alright, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to teach you how to do it. How about them apples? So, first things first, you notice that my bike is on the rear stand. You want to do the rear stand first. That's a pit bull stand. And I just use the swing arm spools right here from Yoshimura. By the way, there's the new there's the new Vortex sprocket and there's my new chain. Everything's working spectacularly. So, if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting a Woodcraft pin stand, also known as a front stand. It lifts it up, as you will note, by the pin that goes in that hole underneath the triple. That's the best way to do this. It lets the front tire rotate freely and you can turn the bars and all that good stuff and you're gonna need the uh, pin for this that matches the 300 and they'll have that application guide at Woodcraft. Take a six millimeter hex wrench or socket remove the four bolts from the stock blah 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 so we already have clip-on so we're gonna skip that step as it says compress the four caps with any type of metal rod with a flat head to expose the circle clip. Okay you think this will work? This is welded by a friend of mine as a temporary axle lift. So let's see if this works without disaster. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push here and hope nothing breaks and then try to extract the C-clip. All right. That's how you do it. So basically this ring is pushing out. You want to come around like this and then wedge it inward. There's one. Now I know how to do it. Every time you know when you do something, that's when it gets easier. It's always hard when you don't know what the F you're doing. Okay, so it only goes down a little bit, like that much. Once you get it below that ring, the seating ring, then you can compress the ring just a little bit, the C-ring, and it goes bump, and then you wedge it sort of up like that. Okay, so now this. Okay, so there's one. We're gonna use that O-ring again. Okay, here's number two. You're wedging out to in. So see if you can see that right there. See how I wedged it between? And then use your thumbs keep pushing down pull up just like that don't drop this okay so that's good we got both okay now we're gonna reuse these o-rings and it recommends using a screwdriver for this as well fair enough they are a little hard to remove without a screwdriver there we go Okay, the O-rings go right here. 
putting them on might be a little easier. Yep. Okay, let's set these aside for now. Okay, so they they're calling these the gold gold hex fork cap covers, but these are obviously blue. So don't get too distracted by that. So we're going to we're going to put some anti seize compound here. This might stink. Use a uh, gas mask if you feel the need, and use some uh, gloves. Latex gloves are good for stuff like this. Anytime you're using solvents, make sure you have enough ventilation. And yeah, and don't confuse this for a Yahoo and swig it. That would be bad, my. Okay, not sure how much I need, but I'm just going to put enough on. Looks like I'm going to have to do some wiping here. Try to be neater than I'm being. You probably don't need a ton. Okay, that's good. There's not much odor to this. That's good. And I'll wipe off the excess in a bit. Don't put them together yet. Wait, put them in the bike first. That's what we're going to do. Put them in the bike first. Okay, so that's what the 10 mil is for. We're going to get that ready. And let's go to it. Okay. Okay, so here's the 10 millimeter socket. Got one of our preload caps, and we're going to push it down in there. You want to get it below the groove and then push it in there until it expands into the groove, the tube groove on the outer part. You'll probably need a screwdriver for this and an extension. Push with your screwdriver until it's seated. Uh, let's see, is that holding? Did I do it? No, I did not do it. Let's try that again. Okay. Now as you get to this point, you want to use your maximum force to make sure that ring is seated. I think I did it. Let's just make sure. Okay, word to the wise, clean your adjusters before putting them in, even though you don't see this part, if you don't want all that mess. And then just screw this in like this until finger tight. Okay, now we're going to do the other one. Sort of compress it as you push. Push it as far down as you can. And then once you do that, push really hard. And wedge it. You'll know when it's in. Use your weight if you have to. Okay, I'm going to make sure that's in there. There we go. That looks good. You can see it's all inside the groove. Okay, and this will complete the first step and then we can batten down the hatches in a bit. Okay, finger tight. So to tighten these down, you want five pounds of torque. But my torque wrench doesn't really go that low, so I'm gonna use 10 pounds and just not go all the way maybe 27 millimeter socket you just be gentle ok 
good enough. Five pounds is not very much. Okay, do your cleanup. Okay, last step. So we have one, two, three, four lines showing. Let's make it so there's three lines showing. Okay. And we are done. That's it. That's how you install your preload caps. Hope that was helpful. Do your testing. Adjust as you need it. Bring one of these with you on a ride. Do some testing. See how the front end feels. And make your adjustments. All right. Another episode of Ninja 300 Garage. Go to SSR, Slingshot Racing, one word, dot net. And that's it. Space butt out. Thank mm -hmm. you.